We're in Rezo. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a, an awesome centre. Swing around, look. At the pinball machine. Have a look at the peppers. <laughs> they, they're amazing. But mostly, of course, besides being a great building underneath, I was welcomed um, uh, by a hug outside. Hi, hey, Emmanuel. This is Emmanuel. Um, anytime any person is, goes to a service to get some support, here it's about trans and um, male sex workers, mm -hmm. you should be greeted with a hug. <laughs> <laughs> so who we have here is, we were just talking about coping mechanisms. Mm -hmm. Gabrielle, we were talking about coping mechanisms yeah. and why drugs might be um, used by people who are in sex work. Well, yeah, basically, whatever, whether you choose it or not, and, or you chose it but it turned out to be more hard than you thought it would be or something, something's going to be your training wheels. So be it like drugs because you cope with your harder choices or your harder outcomes in life um, with that or with whatever behavior you choose to use, you somehow have training wheels and it's just a normal human behavior, right? So it happens for sex workers too and that's why we're there to kind of help them figure out whether their coping mechanisms are good for them or useful for them and mm -hmm. without judging it just maybe question it mm -hmm. and help them figure out where like those that are actually useful for them and how to use them in a safer way mm -hmm. yeah and just like being a space where you feel safe and you can talk or mm -hmm. even if you don't want to talk and just have a nap and have, have like a, a peace have a hug <laughs> yeah a cup of coffee and a pepper. <laughs> <laughs> um, what the, so it's decriminalized um, sex work. Yeah. But um, the, I, I'm, I'm going to use all the wrong words, but if you wanted to pay a sex worker, or then that's it, it's illegal, is that right? Yep. Yeah, it's illegal. Yeah. How does that, so if it's not illegal to do the sex work, how does that other legal impact the sex worker? Just not making sense. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Beside the fact that it doesn't make any sense, yeah. if your client is Breaking illegal, right. yeah, by by buying your services, right. of course the services are going to be put at risk, right? So if, for example, I want to buy services from a sex worker, but I don't want to get caught, I'm most likely will be uh, quicker in my negotiations or like putting my limits or approaching the person so it might get confusing then afterwards that I don't have what I wanted because I didn't have the time to express it and then it just creates situations where the risks for the sex workers are increasing. Mm -hmm. We were talking also, I mean we've had quite an afternoon because we visited um, Cactus mm -hmm. and some other places where people um, are disenfranchised by bad laws and by yeah. stigmas yeah. and we we're talking about the greatest thing that can be provided by services like this is the dignity exactly. of just being treated with dignity when they come. Exactly. And like for sex work, or like for example, like even if like you don't want to do it, like it's not your choice or if it's your choice, like just like don't have the stigma of it. Yeah. So like if you want to stop, we're going to be there. If you like, if you feel good and you love it, like we're going to be there too. Like, so yeah, it's really, yeah, like this. And so just because I'm traveling and visiting um, and because I'm so impressed and overwhelmed by the dignity that you all provide them uh, and with my heart pounding, just want to say thank you for doing the work. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank and you. don't swine off yet because all oh, on my back because I'm an old man. <laughs> just have a swing around because it's just such a nice space to be in. And come back to Manuel. Yeah. Who hugged me when I arrived. I did. And that <laughs> sums it all up, doesn't it? How the dignity and the kindness that is behind his work. Thank you. <laughs> say goodbye. And say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>